Hey guys, what's going on? It's Maddie Collins back with another video here. And in today's video, I'm super excited because we're in a brand new studio. And we're talking again about the Sony a7 IV and one of my favorite features in this camera. So what we're gonna be talking about specifically today is how you can put a color LUT preview on your camera internally. So this is the internal monitor. So you don't need an external monitor. Those can get expensive and then you need to pre-program LUTs on them. But a really run and gun simple way to do this is within the camera and we're gonna be talking about that today. Let's dive in. So before we get into the video today, I just want to say a big thank you to my existing subscribers and my new subscribers. I think we're at 550 right now and we're making our way to the 1K milestone, so I'm super pumped for that. And I just want to say uh, I've been trying to post a whole lot, but I was on a three-week vacation that then led to a transition to a little bit of a quarantine. Um, I've been four days here with my buddy at a uh, just a lane house here in Shanghai, China. You saw it in some of my videos before, but now I turned it into a studio. Got another set seven days here so hope, hopefully I'm publishing a lot of videos for you guys but today it's about the a7 IV sorry about that megaphone so as I mentioned before we are talking about a built-in camera LUT for run and gun shooters on the Sony a7 IV the best part about this feature is that you won't have to install any unnecessary things on your camera it's already built in and you have it right now just sitting on your camera the next thing is that you don't need to purchase an external monitor and I know in the field and shooting for clients that can work but for run and gun shoots a lot of times you just want to use the in-camera monitor but you need a way a source to actually add some color and contrast to that lastly this feature is super helpful in finding the white balance necessary in s-log3 footage and also helping with exposure as well while we're on the topic I do have a video that I will link here about how to grade s-log3 footage that I shot on the beach in the Hawaii of China if you want to check that out before we jump into the menu system I just really want to say that this has really helped in my workflow um, because I am a run and gun shooter and oftentimes I don't have a monitor plugged into my camera um, this is just a really good way for me to nail white balance nail exposure and then because I'm shooting an s log 3 footage it also allows me to add my own creative unique style um, let's jump into the menu system but if you haven't already please scroll down give this video a like if you're finding value and here we go menus so let's head over to the menu I want you to scroll all the way down to the yellow section looks like settings click the center button or the right button go all the way down to finder slash monitor and then what you're gonna do you won't see it in the first part there are some cool settings here but what we're looking for is gamma display assist uh, right now I have it turned off and you have different types as well so you can essentially uh, go s log 3 to rec 709 or what I like to do is just let the camera detect and go auto and watch the screen change in contrast when I go gamma display assist we need to switch this to on and you automatically see it go a little bit darker and then if you go back you'll be able to see here I am in S-Log3 but if I go back and turn gamma display assist off we can see it's s log 3 here and on we have that pre-programmed LUT Alright guys, so that about wraps up the video for today. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. If you guys are a Sony mirrorless full frame user and you have the a7 IV, the S3, or maybe you're shooting on the FX3 and this added value to your workflow or to your day, please feel free to just scroll down, give this video a like, it goes a super long way in helping the channel. Oh. Oh, thank you, thank you. We will see you in the next one. Adio. Peace. Oh my gosh, quarantine sucks.